Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is Fundamentals of Radar. In this session, we will discuss the basic principle of operation of a radar system, then what are its different types, as well as we will derive the range equation for the radar system. So this diagram gives the basic operation of a radar system. It consists of a transmitter and receiver section. As the name indicates, transmitter transmits the signal. These signals are reached at the target. Target causes reflection of those signals. These, those reflected signals are called echoes. These, those echoes are first uh, captured and they are demodulated and amplified and it is applied to the receiver section of a radar. A common antenna is used. The antenna continuously scans for the target and uh, whenever target is existing, at that time, the target causes the echoes and those echoes are captured by the receiver section. Now, the common antenna is used. So, one more block is shown that is called duplexer. The function of this block is whenever the signals are transmitted, at that time, it connects this transmitter block to the antenna and whenever the Echoes are sent whenever the signal is received. At that time, this duplexer connects the antenna to the receiver block. The range of target is measured in terms of unit nautical mile (NMI) and relation is one nautical mile is equal to 1852 meters. Now there are two major types of radars. One is continuous CW or Doppler radar. As the name indicates, it makes use of a Doppler effect. Whenever the target is moving, then in that case, this type of radar system is preferred. So this makes use of Doppler effect for any relative motion between radar and the target. Shift in the carrier frequency of reflected wave gives us the measurement of relative velocity of a target. It is mainly used for the navigation purpose in case of ships or aeroplanes. Second type is pulse radar. As the name indicates, this type of radar system transmits the pulses instead of transmitting a continuous wave. So train of narrow band rectangular shaped pulses which are modulating sine wave is transmitted. In this case, the equation is 2R. R is the uh, uh, range or distance is equals to c into t. c is the speed of light 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. t is the time required for the pulse from transmitter to uh, the target and again from target back to the receiver section of a radar. So from this equation we can calculate the range. See, once the target is detected, you will come to know the time period taken by the transmitted wave and again the wave uh, that is getting reflected from target to the radar system. We know the speed, speed is the speed of light. So by knowing, by calculating the value of time period and the speed, we can calculate the distance of a target from the radar system. Now we will derive the radar range equation. Consider a generalized situation. We are considering one isotropic source or isotropic antenna. It is the source, it is an antenna which radiates equally in all possible directions. Suppose target is placed at some distance r, then in that case, the power density is given by Pt upon 4 pi r square. Pt is the transmitted power, r is the distance of target from the source. Now, in case of radar, let us consider the direct, directive antenna is having a power gain g. So the power density at distance r, that means at the target, the power density is this value that is pt upon 4 pi r square should be multiplied with gain of this rather directive uh, antenna's gain, which is a power gain. So it is pt into g upon 4 pi r square. That means this value must be multiplied by the gain of antenna. So it is pt into g upon 4 pi r square. Now. The target emits the pulses. These pulses are uh, uh, received by a particular area of a target. So power at the target area sigma. Sigma is the target area. So power at the target area sigma is given by this value multiplied by sigma. So it is pt into g into sigma upon 4 pi r square. The target receives the power and redirect that pulse. So that redirector, redirector pulse will be again received by the uh, radar 
So this value that is re-radiate your power is obtained by multiplying this value of a power again by 1 by 4 pi r square. So this term becomes Ptg into sigma divided by 4 pi r square and whole bracket square. This gives the value of re-radiated power. That means the power radiated again from target to the uh, radar. Now consider that A is effective aperture area of the receiving antenna because receiving antenna has to receive this signal. So let us say A is effective area of such a receiving antenna. Then actual received power is this value multiplied with A. So this value is multiplied with A. Now important condition is that there is certain range which is called a maximum range where the target can be detected. So let us say R max indicates the maximum radar range. This range occurs whenever this received power PR is equal to minimum detectable signal. So minimum detectable signal is denoted by S min. Make it simple. In place of received power, put the value of minimum detectable signal because minimum detectable signal gives the relation for the maximum radar range. So in place of PR in this equation, I am putting S minimum, that is minimum detectable signal, which is equals to PTG sigma, this same equation upon 4 pi in place of R. Now I have written R max, so R max square bracket square. Now let us further simplify this equation. So this can be written as S minimum is equals to PTG sigma A upon 4 pi bracket square into R max bracket raised to 4. So what I did, I have separated uh, two terms. So this is 4 pi bracket square and this R max square and again square. So it becomes R raised to uh, R max raised to 4. So from this, I can write R max to the power of 4 is equals to PTG sigma A upon 4 pi square so into S minimum. I have simply rearranged the terms this and this term gets interchanged. Therefore, final equation is R max is equals to this entire term that is PT. This is PT transmitted power PT into G into sigma into AE upon 4 pi square, 4 pi bracket square. This is again 4 pi bracket square into S minimum bracket raised to 1 by 4. So this equation is giving us an idea of maximum radar range which is available for a minimum detectable signal S minimum. This is called the radar range equation. Now let us solve a numerical to get an idea about this radar system. So the given question is a 10 gigahertz radar. Frequency is given as 10 gigahertz. So F is equals to 10 gigahertz. 10 gigahertz radar has the following characteristics. Peak transmitted power is 250 kilowatt. This peak transmitted power is denoted by PT, which is 250 kilowatt. Naturally, we need to convert it in terms of watt. So it becomes 250 into 10 raised to 3 watt. Power gain of antenna is 2500. This is the value of uh, G. Detectable peak signal power at receiver is 10 raised to minus 14. So this is the uh, value of S minimum that is uh, detectable peak signal power at the receiver. It is 10 raised to minus 14 watt. Then cross-sectional area of a radar is 10 meter square. That is AE, effective aperture area or cross-sectional area is 10 meter square. If radar is used to detect the target of 2 meter square equivalent cross-section, this value is given, denoted by sigma. So it is 2 meter square. Find the maximum possible range. Now the numerical is pretty simple. We have the formula just now we have derived it. It is PT into G into sigma A upon 4 pi bracket square S minimum whole bracket raised to 1 by 4. So let us put the values. So PT is 250 kilowatt. So it is 250 into 10 raised to 3 into G. Value of G is 2500 into sigma into 2 into AE. A is 10 upon 4 pi bracket square as it is into S minimum. 10 raised to minus 14 and this bracket raised to 1 by 4. 
So if you solve this on the calculator, answer is 298272 27892 Watt. You will have to convert it in kilowatts. So it is 298.278 uh, kilowatt. So as I said, these numericals are pretty simple. Only you need to remember this formula. So from this, you can calculate the maximum possible range. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.